I think there is a future to vinyl. I don't think it's like a fad at all. I think it's, um, first off, you know, sales are like 800% up over the last few years. One of the great things about vinyl is just that, you know, the artwork, the packaging, how we can sort of like, uh, like make things different ways and make them collectible. We made 300 of these hand silk screened. And what we did is we, we bought cheap records and we turned them inside out. This is a Richard Clareman romantic Christmas record. I think it's just starting. I think that people, when they, uh, they go to a friend's house, it's like spreading virally. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it's, it just, it's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. When I was growing up, my parents were constantly cooking and I took it for granted. I never realized how amazing the food memories that my parents created for me was. So the first course is called Pate Sho. It's like a Vietnamese meat patty. This is called banana flour, and most Vietnamese restaurants in New York do not carry this. So the next course is for very adventurous eaters. Inside this is a fertilized duck egg. And I think all good food, if you eat something really amazing, it will remind you of something that you had in the past. So this is the main course. It's called Bung Bok Hue. For a Vietnamese person, it will, a good bowl of Bung Bok Hue would send them back to their mom's kitchen. Um, so the story of this inspiration is kind of like this meeting of two unexpected style icons, kind of Tilda Swinton and Katherine Hepburn lived in a parallel universe and they were friends. Uh, you know, a lot of my inspiration comes from juxtaposition. It's, you know, it's androgyny with like this self-owned femininity. You know, in a way I kind of feel like red is not a color. It's, it's sort of as easy as black is. It's just, just a little bit bolder. Um, but Yoji Yamamoto's got this amazing quote about about black and um, how it's mysterious and and also um, bold at the same time. And black says, "I don't mess with you. Don't mess with me."